So when I was at Blade Show, I got my knife reviewed by three professionals, one of which was Devin Thomas, who was just inducted into the Cutlery Hall of Fame. And here's what they had to say about my bug out knife. I also apologize for the audio. I want to see that knocked off. I want to see that knocked off. And the only other thing that I would like to see if, and this is if you want to put it into the knife, is give me a little, if you want, give a little taper down towards the front, like have it drop a little, just, just like you put flat. Even if you put a flat across there, it gives it, it gives a nicer feel up towards the front of the knife, but you have a great radius on this, this, I, I, I like the, for the bird's beak, the bird's beak in the back, you've got, I'm a huge fan of that, because that, that locks that knife in, and it feels nice in the other position as well, everything just feels really good, so, I don't want the knife to come out of your hand, no, that's the goal, right, we want it to stay there, yeah, they don't like square handles, they like the round ones, yeah, it's, but the thing is, it's not broom handle, you have enough, I think Lucas was talking about it, you have, it's not a broom handle, yeah. It's you have that oval kind of shape going on, which really likes. Doesn't like a broom handle. It likes. And I just like to know where it's in my hand, in the middle of the knife, and it, and it, and it, and it locates, and it will locate a little better if you put that little bit of a flat on it. It's just, and you can knock the corners off to it, but that right there, right? knock those off. I just got a bunch of blanks from the Jersey Steel Jam, so I'll go make those changes. You bet. You bet. Take care. Nice. My name is Luke, and uh, I'm kind of an amateur like, uh, smith I've been doing it for like the last year. Cool. All I'm trying to do uh, is make a budget and a knife. Yep. Uh, I'm able to puff these out in a batch form, like, yep. and average it out two hours each. Yep. Uh, cheap and everything. And I'm uh, just going for a job with camping knife. So, are you a smith? So, you, you're, you are, are you forging this? Or? No, I, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, you're I'm, I'm stock removal. Oh, you're stock removal. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to, uh, they had the either blanks cut out of the uh, Jersey yeah. Steel Bear. Yeah. They're wider here. Powder coated? Yes. What, okay. So this type of work is like fairly, it's fairly specific because it's not intended to be a No. Okay, so once you hit function, a lot of the way that you actually style it to make the look, that becomes you. Right? Because I could give you a lot of critique on like, oh, well, I want to see this more finished, I want to see this chamber here. But it starts to move past what the intent of the knife is. So when you look at this, it's like, fits your hand, there's no hot spots. Um, I personally would probably add a chamfer inside. That's exactly what he said. Okay, yeah. That, right? Yeah. So if it's not the edge, it shouldn't be sharp. The one caveat to that is like the bushcraft world where they like to have the spine sharp enough, which I, I don't like that. Yeah. It's just too much of a knife maker. I look at it like that's unfinished. Um, the hand, your hand shape and hand. Right, so, you can I personally, I would love to see a radius, low angle, and that's, uh, that's a preference to have it in my mind. Yeah. No, I, I yeah. Uh, he actually said to put a, put a little bit of a... I think like a 40, 45 degree angle, you know, on this phone, but a lot of it is subjective. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to let it do both things. You do want to mean players. It's going to work for its intended purpose. Everything is, your grinds are good. Everything's like lined up. I would, just, I would just make this a little narrower than here. This is from Barrel. Actually, got fish. Yeah. You can drop that. And it's, it's flat, right? I mean, yeah, I would try over I'm just taking on my two inch by 72 and yeah. with 120 grit all the way down. <laughs> just so you're I grinding vertically? Yeah, yeah. I've got, I, actually, I clamped it with vice grips onto an angle okay. um, piece of angle line. And I just go back and forth until I got my center line up. Yeah, I mean, you can get your shoulders a little more precise, but this is going into like what's the point of the knife. You want to make it fast, and you're not worried about it. That doesn't really matter. It's something that you can improve if you want to. Once I get better, that'll be easier to do faster. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling these for like 135 bucks right now. So no. Stop. Don't do that. Oh, that's too cheap. Okay. Don't do it. All right. That's Don't actually another reason why I wanted to talk to you. Don't do it. What do you think? It's really hard, but like, look at what look at what other people do in this size and in this level of fit. I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find anything 
lower than the threes, and at the point you're selling this at under, under 200 bucks, you are so, uh, you would be, I think, very benefited by just refining it a little bit and charging $400. Okay. $130 off. Don't let them charge $130. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Um, sheath retention is good. I, I would like, I'd like to see a little more just well, because a little more support. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd go a little bit higher so that you actually have a little, not necessarily more retention, but Kydex, like, I mean, go set this in your dashboard in the parking lot and yeah. watch what happens to this bit. So having a little more support, uh, it just makes the sheet more, more durable, more consistent. But your Kydex looks, Kydex looks pretty good. Um, are you are you, are you taping your blade? I tape the blade, yeah, yeah. I know. I need to tape it a little more because I have a little bit of touch right there. It's hard. It doesn't fit. Okay, so the rule with Kydex, Kydex scratches 100% of the time. It's just a matter of when. It no, it's, it scratches. So it's going to scratch. This is just a matter of when it does. Ideal scenario is it doesn't scratch when you put it before you put it on the tape. But it's going to scratch as soon as someone uses it and carries it and gets dirt in the sheet that's done. Kydex just does that. Okay. Um, what are you are you doing any kind of loop belt loop? So I actually put my belt right through there. Sure. And this is survival cord, so it's got snare wire, sure. uh, tender fishing wire, all that. So it's an added benefit to having this. Yeah, that's cool. So you can use it. Uh, you know, just put it in the belt one way or the other way. Uh, right now, it's the easiest way for me to get these done in you know, that time frame. Because uh, I'm really just trying to get as much done as possible. Because I'm trying to put these in my bug out bags. Sure. What? Uh, so you make bug out bags too? Yeah. It's 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 a what are you using for your heat source to move your kind of Let's go. I really like t-shirt glasses. Yeah, t-shirt glasses. So the cool thing about it is you, you can get them on Amazon, and you, you can set the temperature, you can set the time. If you're a sheet of Kydex in, you set the lid down. It gives you a 60-second timer, you pull it out and you're ready to move it. It's better, more consistent than the toaster. Yeah, that's the one thing you can do that makes this better and easier. That's probably the thing. That's actually really good advice. The only other thing I'd like to see is I can't read your book. Oh, okay. Right? It, the, the image is kind of oh, blurry. So I would say, I would simplify it. I would do a simplified logo where you can actually read your name. Yeah, I was just going to go with C S. There's no much lettering that we have, so like, I don't know if you can see, but yep. some of the lettering, yep. like when it's written calculation yep. realm, I actually just want to take a C and an S. The same, like, body form. Angle, 45. Yeah. The one problem with that, that is, and this is an old school mentality, which is if it's years on, like, no one knows who made it. And so yes, if they look at that, they can find you. So you have a, you have this little center portion of the logo that calculated survival. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can do you can do that calculated survival. See how, how clean the top line reads. You don't know each other very well. Some of the line work on it. And you do that, and you get a good logo, and you get rid of all the noise around the side. And it's something when someone takes a picture of it or someone sees, they they read it, they know who it is. If you ask a question, that's just get an answer, and it may not be the one you want. Thanks. Thanks for thank you so much. Yeah, man. Ten of these done in twenty hours, so I'll do about two hours each. Um, yeah, how you grinding these? Uh, flat grinder. I got a two by seventy-two inch bell grinder. You're really moving. Yeah, I, I do a real quick thirty-six and then a one twenty right after. You know. You're moving. Yeah. What's the diameter on your wheel? Uh, Is that flat? That's flat. Wow, it's an optical illusion in the slice. <laughs> it looks like a really shallow, really large diameter. Uh, hollow grain. Yeah, the biggest I mean, wheel I got is 10 inch, but I, I've never, I've never. So, but this looks like 30 inch, or you know, oh, yeah. 36. Inch. <laughs> it's just an optical illusion. Now that I look at it more, this is a really comfortable handle. Or just not bring it. And I'm old and I can't see. So. For the pinch grip, yeah. I like it. Yeah, you're moving if you're making it that many. Yeah, I just don't stop. I just sit there and I clamp the next one on quickly, as hard as fast as I can. I step on the next process. What's the steel in this? 52 and 100. Oh yeah. Excellent steel. Yep. So I, I think you're trying to match a price point where it's friendly to a yeah. larger customer base, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I just went with what would feel good in my hand. I've chopped a lot with it. It feels good. The one piece of advice I kept getting was a little bit of a chamfer right there. 
here, and then they, they also said they just wanted to see a little more radius there. So, yeah, that's what do, I'm, do a lot of guys choke up on these? It's hard. For me, there's a lot of guys. I don't because I'm usually swinging with the centrifugal force pulling it out of my hand, so that's why I put such a, a hook there, trying to keep it in my hand so it doesn't fly out. You can reduce this radius and get a little more catch on it too if you want. But it's, it's not a critique. Yeah. I mean, I would, but I personally would try one to see what it feels like. Okay. But the most strength you could ever get yeah. is on this second notch, where this would be here and then be a bump, and this comes out. So this is your strongest finger. <laughs> so, so if I put a bump there, it would actually be a. So a you see the, the the first finger all the time. Yeah. The most grip you can ever have is two fingers right there, and have. And it's not a critique of this design. Right, right, right. If, if you ever want to play around with it. It looks awkward, so you have to demonstrate it. But the strongest thing you can ever do is put a two-finger uh, notch in there. Okay. But this is the, this is your strongest finger, not this one. Okay. And of course, these guys are using it, so <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Thank Good you. work all the way around. So you're sweet. pumping those out in a couple hours, man. You're killing yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I just started like a year ago, and I, I'm I'm self well, you're young, you're healthy. I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to get them all made in the U.S. So I'm getting nutrition, steel bearings, water jet, cutting my stuff. Um, I'm trying to get more processes done. So remind me who's heat treating these. You probably me. told me. Yeah. Me, actually. But uh, I have networked with some people who are actually pretty good at that in this show in particular. So. You get a little burning on your micarta. But... Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I was going 135. He suggested I do 300, but 200. Well, they don't make many 135 knives anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I mean, yeah. guys, I'll tell you what changed everything with cell phones. Everybody in the world spends a thousand dollars on a cell phone once a year. And that boosted sales of everything up to that thousand dollar mark. So everything in life that's worth having, you can pay a thousand dollars to get something pretty decent. And cell phones did that for us. So the days of a hundred and thirty-five dollar knife, you're you're forty years in the past. Okay. So you can get a lot more money than hundred and thirty five dollars out of that. And if you're trying to you know, there's a point where uh, it's bragging rights too. Oh no, that's an expensive knife. I paid three hundred and twenty five dollars for that. If you say, well, this guy took him out, he's getting $135 for it, it's probably worth it, but something must be wrong with it, it's only getting $135. Oh, okay. That's what I've seen him. Yeah. Nice, nice sheet, too. Nice everything. Thank you. I You're on the right that. track. I appreciate it. Yeah, the cord is a uh, survival cord. It's got snare wire, fishing line, tinder in it, and all those other strands. So if you need an emergency, you can take it off and use it for other stuff. But I just put my belt through it and hold it on my hip. Yeah. Nice design, nice size, nice hip. You know, I wouldn't want to take it backpacking, but... Oh, okay. That's the point, actually. <laughs> I was gonna put it's it not. In it's not. It's not backpacking. It's just a bug out, which means oh, it's. Right. It's well, just in case of emergencies, you have it stored in your car, and you have to like stay away for a couple weeks. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. But you'll get some guy trying to backpack with something like this. I'm okay. just telling you. Okay. He has a different design for like hiking or bike. I got a smaller one, but I didn't bring that. No. Oh, well done. Thank you so You're much. You're doing good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Keep going back to our website and checking because pretty soon we're going to have some bug out bags, we're going to have some hiker packs, and uh, some more knives coming. Thanks for watching, guys.